In this video, we will look at the relationship between rational exponents and radicals. We have seen this pattern throughout this unit, that if we divide the exponent by the index, then for an expression such as this, a would be our base, and we would divide the exponent m by the index of n. This gives us a rational, or fractional, exponent on the a. In other words, we can interpret the index as the denominator of a fraction. in the exponent. We can use this property to make conversions between radicals and exponents. For example, we could write this expression with a rational exponent instead of a radical. The index, 7, will become the denominator, giving us 5 sevenths. We can also convert the other direction. If I were to give you an expression with an exponent, we could change this to a radical expression. The denominator, 3, will become the index on a, b. The numerator will still remain as part of the exponent. My suggestion would be to put the radical in parentheses and the numerator, or exponent, outside the parentheses. With what we're going to see in the next couple lessons, this format would be the preferred way to write the answer. Let's try another one, where we write an exponent as a radical. In this problem, the radical is, or the exponent, is negative. You recall, the exponent property with negatives means we put 1 over the expression. The denominator is going to be the index on my radical, 5, and the numerator, 4, is going to be the exponent on that expression. This becomes 1 over the fifth root of x to the fourth. Let's try one more example, where we have to go the other direction and write the expression with an exponent. In this problem, we see 3x inside the radical. We also notice that it is in the bottom, or denominator, of a fraction. When it's in the denominator, this means the exponent must be negative. We can then use the exponent and index, remembering that the index on the radical will become the denominator in my exponent. We have 3x to the negative 5 thirds for our final solution as an exponent. We can quickly rewrite an exponential expression as a radical, or a radical as an exponent, if we remember the index is the denominator on the rational exponent. 